Hi there, Chris Whelan from the Centre of Business Excellence, Building Better Businesses. I wanted to chat with you today about uh, systems and why they are so important, so massively important for your business. And the reality is, I suppose the principle that I'm talking about is leverage, the ability to do more with less and continuously to do more with less. So the principle of leverage and, and how systems actually allow that to happen. You know, what is the situation that I'm really talking about? And the reality is that all of us, pretty much everyone in business, everyone in life, we've all heard someone say, I haven't got enough time. I really I worked really hard, but I didn't get to the end of my to-do list. Now, the reality is that there's 168 hours in the week. We've all got 168 hours. So if someone says they didn't have enough time, that's not really true. We've all got the same number of hours every single week. But here's what is true. Um it's knowing where to put your efforts, knowing where to put your priorities. It's knowing how to maximize the time that you've got, right? And all of us have got the same amount of time, but how do we how do we prioritize? How do we maximize it? And that's where leverage comes in. Imagine the picture, certainly the picture I've got in my head is of someone wanting to lift a really heavy weight and pulling that lever down. That one lever allows you to lift a weight which you simply couldn't do otherwise, right? Some of the things that if you don't build good leverage, you don't build good systems into your business, some of the things that really go wrong and, and aren't good. Uh, firstly, you've got, you've got to do it all yourself. Right? You've got no leverage to get anything else done. So you've got to be on the tools, uh, at the desk, every single day, all the time, working every hour under the sun. So that's point number one. I don't particularly like that. I don't think it's a good way to work. Point number two, you cannot scale. Yes, you can, you can throw more people at things, but more and more people, eventually the system breaks down. You can't scale. I've seen that around the world. It just does not work. Third thing is, you never, and this is an important one, you never get the time to do the stuff that really matters. The time to work on your business, that's the first point. But more importantly, perhaps, you can't really get the time to be with the ones you love. You're in business because you want to get a great return. You're in business because you want to um, provide for your family. You want to provide a legacy for your community. But if you don't have good leverage, you don't have good systems, you never get the time to actually spend with those people that matter. So those are, those are things which I think really are important. The converse of that, of course, is also true. If you build good systems, you do it once, and then you can improve it, and you can use it forever, right? So you invest the time, you invest the effort, you do it once, but you can use it forever. So that's a massive, massive benefit. The second benefit, of course, is that good systems allow you to have consistency of delivery, which means your customer service improves, which means your certainty of, of cash flow improves, your certainty of your business improves. So good systems provide the consistency. And then, of course, the third thing, and that we've touched on this already, is that you get more time back. A uh, really interesting story. I met with someone earlier this week, and their business is growing. It's growing well. But they are the almost the archetypal. They're spending time. They're spending effort. They're building good systems. They recognize that if they do it now. We work together for the next period of time. They'll build good systems. They will have internal muscle, if you like, in their business, which will allow them to, to grow and to grow and to grow. Uh, you go from one, two, three, four people to 10, 15, 20 people with good systems, right? And that, I think, is the, is perhaps one of the key lessons. The best businesses are run by good systems with people that run the systems, right? People, yes, of course, we will always argue that people run the business. I get that. But the best businesses are ones that run under good systems with people in running the, running the business. Sorry, what am I saying? The system runs the business, the people run the systems. That means that the people can innovate, they can think differently, they can get a bit of time, and they can say, oh, hang on, how, where do we improve? You can delegate that to your leadership team if, you, if you're the owner. You don't have to do everything yourself. And that, of course, then leads to the second benefit, massive, massive innovation. Imagine being able to go to your management team and say, look, there's the process we've got. Um, how can we improve it? And leave it with them for a week or two. Make it their project so you don't have to come up with all the answers. And, of course, that cascades through the, through the business. So... Firstly, best, the best businesses are run by good systems and then people run the systems. And then innovation is allowed through that. The third thing, and I think this is, this is an important one, don't be afraid of you know, the big management consulting firms. They'll tell you, oh, no, it needs to be bigger than Ben-Hur. Nonsense. It absolutely doesn't. I actually work with a process. I call it 110.5. First step of the process, the 10th step of the process, the fifth step of the process, right? 110.5. It is phenomenally simple. I'm not saying that it's absolutely foolproof. What I am saying is it allows you to do your entire system very, very quickly. We could spend a couple of hours, maybe a couple of days. We could have enough information to run your systems, and then you can get your team to improve on it, right? So don't listen to the, the naysayers which say, oh, you can't do this. It's impossible. It takes too much effort. That's not true, right? Simply not true. And so let's go back. Let's just reiterate that. What are the benefits of good leverage? 
Firstly, you can pick up heavy weights without having to do all the work, right? So that's the first point. You can actually get more out of less effort. Secondly, you can empower your team through innovation. They can improve the system once it's out of your head, once it's out of their heads, you can get, um, get good innovation coming out of it. And the third thing, and I think this is the thing that you can't replenish in, you, know, you can get more money, but you can't get more time. And good systems, good leverage gives you the time that you need to spend on your business and most importantly, the time you need to spend with your family, with your loved ones. So if any of this appeals to you, my absolute offer to you, my urging of you, I'd be thrilled to give you an hour, hour and a half. Let's sit down, let's see how we can look in your business and see what systems might improve your business. Give me a call on zero, what is my number? A zero triple two, no, that's not true. What is it? Whatever. My number's in the in the in the um, below, in the in the link. Um and you can drop me an email at chris at wcbe.co.nz. Um, and let's, let's get together. Let's have a chat. All the best. Bye-bye.